another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this look right here. You guys already know it is time for fall makeup looks. So I definitely wanted to bring you guys something creative, something fun with a little shimmer on the lid. I actually did this look twice. In today's video, I decided to actually insert some of that footage. What happened was I created the look and then over top of this liquid shadow, I decided to add a glitter and I didn't have like glitter glue or anything like that. So I put it right over top and you guys, the transfer of that glitter ruined the entire look i was devastated at one point i was like you know what i'm just gonna post it like it is what it is not every look is perfect and then in my mind i was like no we're gonna do it again i'm gonna create it again so the look is not exactly the same sorry for the noise outside so the look is not exactly the same but it's the same tones same palette same shape and everything i just kind of tweaked it just a little bit to create the look that you guys are seeing today so i'm super excited for today's look i hope you guys are excited too i'm living for all the fall looks at the moment i do miss my color though so most likely the next tutorial that you guys see is going to be a full-on color tutorial I don't know we'll see if i'm gonna keep continuing to do the fall looks or give you something colorful halloween is also right around the corner so we're gonna be jumping into halloween looks pretty soon um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy today's video before we jump in please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have not already and of course without further ado if you want to learn how to get this look today then just keep on watching you guys let's go ahead and get into today's look now this is the be perfect clientele palette with jaw the makeup artist honestly this palette i believe has been out for a while i don't even remember when i purchased this palette but hopefully they still sell it if they do of course it'll be linked down below in the description box so i'm just priming my eyelid with my p louise base in the shade rumor 2.5 and the first color i'm going to be using from the palette is the shade too much which is a deep brown now i quickly wanted to just show you guys this scar that i have well not really a scar it's more of a scab at the moment thankfully it didn't leave a scar this was amelia it had been under my eye for a while and it was just irritating me so i basically popped it which you're not supposed to do and yeah i definitely regretted it after my under eye was very swollen thankfully it didn't leave a scar i definitely won't do it again you guys do not pick at your face if you know what amelia is it's not even something you should be popping or picking but yeah so next i'm gonna go into the shade dirty tan so you guys seen with that first color too much i just basically created the shape i was going for really intensified the pigment and now of course we want to start to blend and that is what i'm using the shade dirty tan for so just making sure i blend out that edge now i'm gonna go into the shade sandy of course on an even fluffier brush and i'm gonna start to further blend as well so basically i'm starting with my darkest then going to my lightest shade and then of course i lost some of that intensity so I'm gonna go back in with the shade too much and I'm just gonna re-intensify and you guys can see that it really did lose intensity so definitely if you do your eyeshadow in the same order as me don't forget to go back in with each shade just to intensify it so once I was pretty happy with my blend let's cut the crease cutting the crease is so exciting in today's video I am trying to master this product this right here is the P Louise cut carver so it's very similar to cutting your crease with Vaseline but it doesn't leave the residue now I'm definitely a q-tip and micellar water kind of girl to clean my crease and the reason being is because as you guys can see here this product is amazing because it melts the eyeshadow but it's very different from when you do it with micellar water because you know when you go in with the q-tip immediately the color is removed when you're using this it's like you have to really pay attention to where the product is i kind of kept going in and just wiping off my brush wiping off that eyeshadow and then you have to go in with a makeup wipe to go ahead and just remove the product but you guys i have never had such a clean crisp looking cut crease okay so this is definitely something that you have to work with there is a learning curve i've used it a few times and i kind of just threw it in my drawer and i was like yeah no this is not for me like i just don't get it I I don't understand it like I can't get it to work I'll just keep using my q-tips and my cellar water but the other day I was like listen like I see so many amazing UK artists use this product like it has to be good so I decided to use it again and pleasantly surprised that this time around I actually loved it so now I'm gonna go in with blank canvas of course and I'm gonna just go ahead and cut my crease now I also been using this little blending brush this is actually a P. Louise brush so every single section where I start to cut my crease I basically take that brush and I will blend out the rest of it now what this is gonna do for me is it's gonna make sure I don't overuse the base and that it's blending right away because if you use blank canvas you know it dries super fast so just keep that in mind 
So next one I'm going to do is go into the shade Too Much and I'm basically just going to use that to create that liner moment and I'm just taking a super tiny brush. I believe this brush is from Be Bella Cosmetics. It is phenomenal. I'll link it down below if I can find it. It's very, very thin. It's so good. So now what I'm going to do is just go into the shade Sandy again. And basically all that I did was kind of connect the two. Now, like I said, I had already previously done this look and that's the way that I had done it. But you guys can see I decided to change this look. So what I'm doing here is I decided to connect the crease to the lid. And I basically just made that little mark so I could know exactly where I want to place it. And kind of just worked my way into creating the shape. At this point, I didn't know where I was going with this look. 99% of my looks happened that way. I was just kind of going with the flow and kind of seeing what works with my eye shape. So I decided to connect it and I loved this look so much more when I did this. Now I'm going to go ahead and just clean up and you guys know I always use my NARS Soft Matte Concealer to do this. It is phenomenal and I'm basically just cleaning up that eyeshadow. So if you don't have liner or you struggle with eyeliner, you could definitely create that full liner look with some eyeshadow and concealer. So for the lid, I went in with this liquid eyeshadow from Be Perfect. This is from the Antidote Collection. I don't know what happened to that footage but it will be linked down below. So you guys can check it out if you want to now i'm gonna go in with this gavissi eyeliner i ended up doing this extra i don't know shape liner whatever you want to call it i also lost the footage for that which was the same footage that had me applying the liquid eyeshadow so i'm sorry for that but i was like listen i need to somehow tie it in it was looking a little bit awkward but i really loved the concept of the eye so i decided to go in with some of this gold water activated liner and i was obsessed okay it basically created look like I was so obsessed so let's get into the face makeup I'm going in with the elf halo glow filter this product is bomb and then for foundation I'm using an oldie but goodie this is the Too Faced born this way foundation you guys I recently got a package a PR package from Too Faced and I basically lost it I was so freaking excited and this was in there so I definitely wanted to use it for today's tutorial so that's what I'm using such a bomb foundation with great coverage for cream bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Mocha. You guys already know, this is my jam. I love it so much. It blends like a dream and the color is so good. If you need a good cream bronzer, check this one out. It is amazing. For concealer, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty. This is the new full filter concealer. I'm using mine in the shade Nougat. It's phenomenal. Now, anytime that I'm doing a sharp eyeshadow look I always go in with my concealer and I will take that same flat brush I actually use this brush to carve out my brows and I basically just carve out that shape or that liner or whatever it is because you don't want to get your sponge too close because if you just so happen to like go over top of that hard work it's going to be devastating so if you just take the extra time to do this then you can go straight in with your sponge and now you don't even need to get close to that liner you don't have to worry about ruining it and now you have that really nice highlighted area and it just makes everything look so much cleaner so I did the same thing towards the outer corner of the eye like i said this does take time but i promise you taking this extra step so that way you don't end up ruining your work you're gonna really be thankful for that later on because i can't imagine trying to fix this look after i spent like an hour doing it so to set underneath my eyes i'm going in with my collab set the stage powder and this makeup forever powder puff and i'm just gonna go in and set my under eyes you guys know we love a super bright, smooth, blurred out under eye and there's no powder that does that for me the way this collab powder does. To set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. I know I still haven't ordered another one, but I will, okay? So for now, we're gonna use that one. It's amazing. If you're looking for a powder to just set your face but not give you extra coverage, that one is bomb. For bronzer, of course, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Bronzing Palette. I'm definitely gonna be picking up another one of these during the sale. You guys know when I first purchased this palette, I ended up dropping it. Completely shattered the highlights, but when I tell you this is like holy grail style, is for me it's bomb no matter your skin tone this bronzer palette is gonna work for you so for cream blush I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks dewy lip and cheek palette in flirty or do it flirty I think it's called such an amazing product and I'm gonna go ahead and cream blush and then I'm gonna go in with this blush this is the Maven Beauty blush in the shade crave 
you guys this is like fall in a blush it is so beautiful it's the perfect burnt orange it's just it's stunning so that's basically the base makeup so now I'm gonna go in and finish up this lower lash line so I'm going back into the deepest shade which is the color too much and then to blend that out of course I'm gonna go back in with the shade dirty tan and then I just went back in with a little bit more of too much just to re-intensify that dark brown I'm going in with this Tres Lusa liner this is actually a metallic liner it was kind of like a bronzy gold color it was perfect for this look and these liners are so creamy but they last all day i was obsessed and i usually don't put metallics in my waterline but for this look it was giving like grungy metals right so i was obsessed i feel like it went perfect for the look i added a little inner corner flick and then of course to finish off the look i just went in with some lower lash mascara now i did lose the footage of me applying my highlight so it'll be down below and of course the lip combo will be down below as well i really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial like I said, this is my second attempt at doing this look. I did tweak and change a few things and to be honest with you, I'm so happy I decided to redo it because I am so obsessed with this look. It is so stunning. So as always, everything is going to be linked down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!